Hey guys, what is up? It is CCXP this weekend, and that means we are beginning a little bunch load of trailers this weekend for me to for me to react to. I'm very excited. And the first one up is the new George Miller film in the Mad Max universe called Fury Osa, based on the on the character that Charlie yeah Charlie's Faron played in Mad Max Fury Road. It has been a while since we've been here in the Mad Max franchise. Uh, I believe that... What year did this movie come out, guys? Because I am blanking, like, what year? Because I recently watched it, like, a little while ago. But, yeah. Tw so, the last Mad Max movie we got was in 2015. And I believe this was announced, like, maybe... Oh, I have to say, like, a little... Maybe like 2018, 2017, maybe a few years, like two or three years after Mad, Mad Max Fury Road came out. And it's like, been it took a while them to film it, got delays because there was COVID, then there was the actor strike, and all this thing's been against it. But we are finally getting this movie, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, I believe, uh, yes, we got Anna, we don't got Charlie's Fury in this movie, we got Anna Taylor Joy playing a younger Furiosa, and we got Chris Hensworth, which. I have to believe he's playing Samo Samoa Joe. I think it's Samoa Joe. Or something Joe. Like, he's, like, the guy in the white, and he's, like, the leader of that, of the, like, the people who capture Max in the last movie. But, very excited to check it out. Uh, I think, like, Fury Road was one of the best... Like, because I recently saw it, like, seeing, like, a main character who doesn't really talk most of the movie. He, he only talks, talks, like, in the middle. Was like really cool idea, but yeah, let's check this out. Let's see what George Miller's got for us. So, let's go. Say so, yeah! Woo -hoo! Oh, that's a great line. That is a great line. Eve. Okay. From George Miller. Yep. Ooh, that's pretty cool transaction. Transition, I mean. Ooh. That sounds like Anna Taylor Joy. It looks very much upgraded. Uh, with te the technology he's using is very much upgraded, it looks like. Ooh. There she is, Furiosa. Okay. 45 years after the collapse, a young girl was taken from her family. She will devote the rest of her life to finding her way home. This is her odyssey. Oh, so it's like, it's a mission of her trying to get back home. Okay. That's Chris Hensworth, I think. Play your engines. <laughs> Start your oh. And man, look at the CGI in this guy. It looks really good. <gasps> there he is, that's I think that's Samoa Joe. On your Taylor Joy. Oh yeah. Ho 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 ho! Okay. This is looking really cool, guys. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's like there's a city. I'm serious. The darkest of angels. Oh. This looks really cool. <laughs> Alright guys, that was the first trailer for Furiosa. Oh my gosh. You know, it like everything about like what I loved about when I watched Mad Max Furiosa for the first time, like it looked like George Miller improved on it, you know, it looks 
So, this looks so action-packed. Looks like it's a thrill ride, like, to the end of the movie, you know. You got Anya Taylor-Joy in there, which she looks awesome. You know, she looks like a younger Charlize Theron in the movie playing uh, Furiosa. And, you know, we saw a bit, a bit, uh, saw a bit of Samojo in there, you know. Uh, the guy with the white, the white face, the right hair, which that was really, that was really cool to see. And uh, we got to see Chris Hemsworth. I don't know what the name of his character is, but he looks like he's, looks like he is playing the main bad guy. And my guess is, you know, that he was like the tyrant before, like Samoa Joe, uh, took over, which is very, very, very cool. Uh, and it's really cool seeing uh, Chris Hemsworth in this type of role where he's playing the villain because we we. We haven't really seen Chris, Chris uh, has replaced him. And sorry, guys, it's not Samoa Joe. I think Samoa Joe is the name of a wrestler. Uh, the character, uh, it was Immortan Joe. And, like, he's, like, the leader of it. So, sorry, guys, if I mess that up, you know. Uh, I should not have messed it up, but I am very sorry. But I'm going to call him so. So, he's Immortan Joe, which is very cool. But just like basically his name is going to be Joe in the movie, which is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm talking about this, but let's talk about Chris Hemsworth's character. You know, Chris Hemsworth playing the villain is very interesting to me because he's never played a villain. You know, we always see Chris Hemsworth as the, you know, as the hero because we think of him as, oh, he's Thor. You know, he's not a bad bad guy. And like this, like I, in the beginning, I was like, is he a good or bad guy? Then like we got into the middle of the trailer and I kind of saw like, oh, he's playing the bad guy. You know, he is who Thor, uh, Furiosa is trying to kill so she can get back home. And I loved, you know, in the beginning how it was a very different trailer because in the beginning it gives us a little description like this takes out like 45 years after like the like fall of humanity. If you don't know what the story of Mad Max is, basically the story is, you know, uh, like the land was run dry. You know, everything... Is dry. The earth is dead, and you know everyone is fighting for for resources like gasoline, uh, fuel, water, food, and you know everyone builds these like post apocalyptic cars and vehicles and using the fight. And it's a really cool story. You know, if you have not seen uh, Mad Max: Fury Road, I ha highly recommend you uh, look at that movie. You know, it, I believe it was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars that year. You know, this is George Miller, guys. This is George Miller. You know, I didn't really know who George Miller was. Like, I didn't know why, like, the Mad Max franchise was so popular. I'm like, why was Mad Max Fury Road such a great movie? Until I watched it, and I said, wow. And, like, he's been doing these movies for a long time, you know. So the first, let's see. I'm going to look it up real quick. The first Mad Max... I'm trying to find the first Mad Max movie came out in 1979, and I believe it was Mel Gibson starting the first one. And then let's see, we had Mad Max. They had a Mad Max two that came out in 1981. Now, and then we had Fury Road, and then supposedly there's another film coming out called Mad Max Wasteland. Uh, and I think this is what this film was supposed to be. At least what I think. No. This is no, it's a different film, you know. It's I think it, that's what's coming out. It will be a Yeah, so it's coming out after this movie. It's the next one, which is Wasteland, which I don't know when they're gonna start filming that because it's it's taken so long for this movie to come out. Oh yeah, and they're also like an Oh no, there's no I'm sorry guys, so this so Fury Road was four, Mad Max they did a third Mad Max, a Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And then we have Furiosa, which is the fifth movie in the Mad Max franchise. Now, I've only seen Fury Road because, like, I. Because, like, what I've seen, like, said, like, it's, like, the best of the franchise, you know? I think it was, like, an Oscar nominated film. Like, it was super well received. But, yeah, I am looking. I will definitely be checking out this film. Very excited to see it, you know. Like I said, you know, you got a lot of good actors in here. You got a lot of, uh, 
you got a great director and you and you and if you got a story like if you like you don't just make a spin off in my opinion if you don't have a story you want to be told. And this is a character that I saw in movies like I would like to know more about. And I'm so glad we're gonna learn more about it. And you got a talented actress in Anya Taylor Joy playing the part. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like and leave a comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. 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 Sorry guys. And I'll see you next time.